Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this web banner in Corel Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our web banner. First we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle. Thousand pixels by three twenty pixels. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point, then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we'll select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this. Now we will set the colors. Now we will remove the outline by right click. Now we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar and we will draw a circle. Now we will set the equal size of the circle. Now we will place the circle. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will increase the size of the outline. Now we will make a copy of this circle by drag and right click. Now we'll select the first circle and we will change the color of the outline. Now we'll go to the effects menu. Now we'll select blur. Then we'll select cushion blur. Now we will adjust the radius size and then OK. Now we'll select the second circle and we will fill color and we will remove the outline. Now we'll place the second circle on the first circle like this. Now we'll select both and we will set the align. First we will click on selected objects, then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now again we will select both and we will right click then group. Now we will drag and set with the shift key and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will select the two point line tool from the toolbar and we will draw a straight line like this. Now we will select the shape tool from the toolbar and we will click on the line and we will select convert to curve now we will drag the handles now we'll make a copy of this line by drag and right click now we we'll select the blend tool from the toolbar and we will blend this line like this I will adjust the blend tool. Now I will change the color of the lines by right click. Now I will adjust the size. Now I will right click then group. Now I will select the transparency tool from the toolbar and we will increase the transparency of these lines now we'll apply the transparency tool like this now we will increase the size now we'll place like this now we'll make a copy by drag and right click and we will click on the mirror vertically now we'll place this line like this now we'll select both and we will select group now we'll send back by control page down now we'll select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small rectangle and we will fill white color now we will remove the outline now we'll select the text tool from the toolbar in this white rectangle we can write the brand name 
or we can place our logo now we'll select the font style now we will adjust the size and we will place now we'll change the color now we will adjust the size again we will select the text tool now we will write the tagline now we will select the horizontal alignment now we'll select center now we will change the font style now we will adjust the size now again we will select the text tool and we will select this text now we will increase the size of this text and we will give a white color to the text now we will select the logo and the text and we will press it to align center again we will select the text tool we will write the percentage of the discount or the sale now we'll change the font style now we will increase the size now we'll change the color of this text now we'll select the extrude tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this now we will select the presets we will select extrude top left Adjust the extrude. We will adjust the extrude tool like this. We will give a three D look to the text. Now again, we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar. Now we will. draw oval shape like this now we'll fill black color and we will remove the outline now we'll go to the effects menu and we will select blur then cushion blur now we will adjust the radius size here we will create the shadow with the cushion blur we will select the lighter shade of the black now we we'll select this text and we will do control page up now we'll adjust the position now we'll select the interactive fill tool from the toolbar and we will apply on this shadow now we will add one color by double click in center we will select the black color and the left and the right we will select color from the background by double click we will add one more color and we will give a black color now we will adjust the position Again, we will select the text tool, and we will write the text. Now again, we will select the horizontal alignment, and we will select center. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will change the font style. Now we will give a white color to this text. We'll again active the text tool and we will select this text and we will adjust the size. We will decrease the size. Now we we'll select this text and now we will increase the size.
again we will select the text tool and we will write the up to we will select the same font style for all the text now replace this text the website we will decrease the size and we will place here now we will adjust the lines we will ungroup the blend lines and we will adjust the position now we will import this bag image We will place this image on this circle. We will place like this. We will increase the size. Now we will select this shadow and we will place. Here we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will do control page down to send back to the back. Now we will adjust the size of the shadow. Now we will change the color of the shadow. Select this logo and we will adjust the size. So guys, our web banner design is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial, you can ask me on the comment box. Please like, share and comment. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.